I feel like this build uh, from Zerg was a little bit, you know, maybe looks like he's expecting to see some Banshees because he does have the Overseers. You know, he has so many Mutalisks. Um, I think Zerg is so used to seeing Banshees um, against them. Yeah. That, that you should, and, and here we go again. Another Changeling sneaking right by at that critical moment. Yeah. This is this Getting is great. Getting a full count. And look at this. That's perfect position perfect. for Zerg. Zergling absor absorbing the fire. Those Banshees coming right in, wrecking yeah. everything. Just destroying everything. And the Mutalisk cleaning up. This is seriously one of the... That's really good positioning for Zerg. A really good way to use the to use the Banelings along with you know Zerglings to distract fire. I mean, I like that a lot. You know, and and the the thing is, the only kind of weird thing about this is that um, what you I know, sorry. You, you'd assume I you'd assume that um, Nor uh, Norton was fully ahead on those battles. He did win those battles by far. Yet, since Banelings, you know, are a Kamikaze unit, you know, you do lose so much. So really. As much as he's won those battles, he still only has a slight advantage because of how much he actually does lose, yeah. um, you know, with with committing to uh, Banelings. And at the same time, one thing that I really would love to see on this map that I have never seen yet is um, all the water on this map. I'd really like to see somebody, some of the Zerg units, get a drink because you never really... Can they do that? Yeah, uh, or take a bath. Um, you never really see that sort of strategy being put into play, and I think that that might really, um, you know... <laughs> There's protests in this game. There are, and this is the kind of thing you really want to get an angle on. Yeah, that's a because that's the most. That's um, almost exactly like like you know, Dragon Age. Protoss invented the uh, the chin strap on. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> what? Seriously, what? What is that? <laughs> that's, it's the chin strap on. Yeah, the, the Protoss have a very open society, and they're very accepting of different sorts of tastes. And have, have you ever used a chin strap on? No, they're just, but Protoss are really advanced and they, they, they're very aware that different people, you know, oh. like different kinds of things and that's okay for them. Do you think the well, Zelnaga, this, did the Zelnaga, yeah, well, it's changing great. getting into the main base. Do you think the Zelnaga made, a, created STDs? Um, that's why, well actually, Zerg, neither Zerg nor Protoss suffer from STDs. Really? Because of the Zelnaga genetic manipulation of their mm. genes. All right, so you have uh, the the Mutalist finishing a scout of the map. He knows there's only one expansion, that they're still pretty equal right now. Uh, we have, is this a drop, or is this his Metavax coming in? Uh, the, you can actually tell that it's not a drop, because you don't see those little yellow ticks ah, above the Metavax. Ah, yes, that's true. The wonders of StarCraft II. Um, but yeah, so not a drop. Uh, but but we Terran have a, is researching Stimpak now, so he's going to have some pretty fearsome infantry units. And these Banelings are in the middle of hatching. This is perfect for Terran. If he pushes right now, he, he can he take his kill Banelings out before, out before they have a to kill his he's army. moving in right now. Uh, well, okay. Zerglings are he, buying time. Oh my god, they bought just enough time for those Banelings to finish morphing, get in there, hatch, and once again, yeah, Zerg wins infantry. this battle. Um, I wonder if he had focused fired the Banelings, maybe if he would have been able to take them out, or... I think the way those Speedlings come right in, they just, just, they just throw you off. time, yeah, yeah. and, and they, they just throw you off. free hits, either. They throw you off guard, too. Yeah. Um, and they have... Alright, we're gonna be pushed back here again. But... Again, these are these are victories for the Zerg you just said player. We, you just said we. You you I, identify I, that strongly with Zerg. Yeah. <laughs> you like Gunskin was like secretly rooting for Zerg right now. I'm almost secretly. <laughs> I, it's, I don't think it's even a secret. And look, we have a, <laughs> a, a two things. We have infestors, which I'm very happy to see. Um, I'm sure this is going to be for the fungal growth ability. Yeah. We great. have a Nidus canal. Um, the Nidus hole, as I like to call it, the Nidus hole. And. What I watch for, especially with watching replays and even in games, is that when there's Nidus Canal, the moment you see this Overlord move in any form or take any action is the moment you're going to see Nidus drop. Or he could just get tired of standing there. Yes, the true. Overlords need to... Sometimes they get bored. Need to stretch their legs. They need to stretch their leg ar leg wing arm, whatever those things are. And we have uh, Grog here coming down for his second expansion. This is critical right now. Um, I liked it. Did, now, did he build that, SC, that command center, or is that from his main? Does he still have a, a command center in his main? Yeah. Yes. Man. Yeah, so he, he built that in his main and flew it down. That's pretty cool um, of him. These armies converging right here to make sure that nothing screws with them, screws now, with the command center. It's interesting to me that he that he chose to expand to that lower location rather than to maybe, you know, the base of by his main or the yellow minerals, which would be the places you would normally look. So he's really trying to hide that command center yeah, he just and wants hide to get out of the expansion, way. which is good play on his part because Zerg's not going to expect to find it. I don't think Zerg does find it. What, what I do like is uh, the ro a Roach Warren just went down previously, and we have the same combination here. Um, we have a couple of fungal yeah. growths going off. 
trying to try to undo the uh, the healing but, uh, powers. But of this those time, I think that Taran had a little bit too many Marauders in the Banelings. A little bit. Banelings are not as good against Marauders because they do have so much HP. But, but Zerg, are. yeah, Zerg still wins this battle but barely. It's more of a training yeah. of armies. And I think the whole point of this expansion out here is just it's out of the range of where Zerg is going to go. Yeah. Um, in the course of this back and forth that we're seeing. Definitely. But, you know, Zerg really has a lot of Mutalisks, and I'd like to see him, you know, maybe scouting more across the map, looking for things to use them on, because right now they're just being used to defend, and I feel like that's sort of a waste of their mobility. A little bit. I agree. Well, he did just do a scout before, so I think he might feel confident that, uh, you know, that the uh, Terran player has not, you know, expanded yet, which is a mistake, because... You know what's he... weird, too, is that roaches come from a warren... But you know what else comes from a warren? What? Bunnies. Pr oh, I thought you were say prisoners. Yeah. Prisoners don't come from a warren. Oh, there's a warden. Oh, War look, look, here. Minimap. We're going to see a drop any second. Yeah. I've got you, like, with uh, especially a it's piece of chocolate. <laughs> and there it is. But at the same time, we have Terran pushing up. Um, he's going to have to... Actually, you know what? This might even be a bad drop, because this, this main is mined out. Um... Really, a better idea would have to been to drop into the expansion. Well, it's, I mean, it would still be good if he could take out some production buildings and stuff, but I don't think he realizes there's a Terran army right on his doorstep. There's a big Terran army right on his doorstep, and it's mostly, now mostly Marines. Marines which are going to counter those Completely mutilisks. chew up the Mutalisks. They already have two, two upgrades, so yeah. these mutes are just going to fall. Um, but these Roaches are doing a good job of killing a already broken economy. But they're not but they're not really killing that much and they're not focus firing and they I mean if you look at how fast the Terran Marines are just chewing through the Zerg army at his main yeah, this is uh, compared uh, to how fast the Roaches are killing stuff, he's definitely not gonna win this if it's a race. And this is just like in StarCraft one how the, the worst thing you want to see as a Zerg player is upgraded M and M combo. Yeah. Especially when your units are not upgraded at all to uh, to match. Mm -hmm. I, I really think that this was a misdrop on, on Nortane's end. Well yeah he really I think needed to, to take some economy out. He should have dropped down here. But again in that But heat let's of the also moment, concentrate also uh, like how what a good play it was for Grog when he saw he saw the drop happen in his main and he just committed to the attack. Which was great because he's basically throwing the Zerg I'm going to force you to pull your roaches back or you're going to lose your main. Yeah. And uh, that's a really good situational awareness by him because, you know, some players would try to run all the way around the map, all yeah, the way back to their true. main to try to kill the roaches. But I also think upon seeing just mutes um, up against such a large force of marines that, you know, I I'm sure he felt at least to a degree confident that he yeah. could uh, stay alive for a decent amount of time. But you have marines here as well. Mm -hmm. up and I think, I think Zerg should have came back to his base, to be honest with you, in that situation. I, I mean, think he should have. If he had those mutes and the roaches there to... Uh, attack the marines. I mean, marines are not that good against roaches in numbers. I think he maybe could have, you know, prevented this attack from doing so much damage. And right now you have really the tide just completely turned on what I really... If, if that, again, if that drop had happened at expansion, the game would be quite even. An expansion probably would have been taken out, but now you have Grog with two expansions, Nortane with just one. Yeah, and his um, income is just insane right now. Almost twice, more than twice. With more upgraded marines on the ways, and the fact that these are upgraded is really gonna set Nortane Yeah, and back. also there's so many more upgrades from Marines now. I mean, they have two attack, but they also have the extra hit points, plus they have stims, plus they have the Marauder uh, slow upgrade. I, was, I mean, that's a lot of, you know, the fungal, the fungal growth is a great attempt here, but there's just not enough to uh, to come and clean up. You know, yeah. it's... it's I mean, the Marines are... You know, they're getting low, but still, you have these two medevacs healing up. I still don't like um, uh, spine crawlers. They look so... Yeah, I, I've always had a trouble with the way they look, but I'm kind of just dealing with them now. Yeah. Um, I, the one thing I hate about them is how long they take to reburrow once you move them. Yeah. I wish that would change. I but wish. I um, wish. I wish that they would. They. I wish they. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> the one thing with uh, fungal growth, which is something I'm starting to see a little bit more in uh, uh, bring with, his with drones down to try to fend it off. That's never is, really is, great. Uh, is I but wish. Look at this. Hold up. I wish fungal growth lasted longer. Yeah. I wish I had a bigger area also. And now he's, you know, he's chasing, he's microing his marauders there to try to kill as many drones as possible. That's pretty cute. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, actually, I wish that a lot of the uh, the effects, like Psystorm also had a, had a larger area. They just area that seems so small, uh, especially for something like like fungal growth, which is sort of like a plague kind of thing. Now you have um, a, a dropship coming in. Um, he's probably going to go up for this expansion at this point. Um, Nortane doesn't have much. Uh, what is he doing here? He's... Rebuilding a Baneling Nest. Oh my god, there's there's a, there's an Overlord on the Protoss strap-on. There's an really? Overlord. Staring Almost. at it. Yeah. 
Um, I think we're going to see a drop right on this expansion, and this is not going to be easy for uh, Nortane to counter. Yeah, not at all going to be easy. But no, this, is, is there? Yep, yep, there is yeah, a drop. There's a droppy. Droppy drop. Um, and yeah, what's he going to do to counter this? I guess Lizard. Well, he has, okay, he has well, some he, stuff. He yeah, does he have enough roaches to counter this. He's bringing his and queen and his mutes, yeah. But still, right now, Nortin is backed into a wall, and especially with ex expansion going so hot. Let's see the saturation here. Yeah, it's crazy saturation. I mean, yeah, Almost 30 have, SCVs. Yeah. Crazy saturation we have, here. We have, right now, Terran with two bases and Zerg basically with one. And um, Zerg knows he has to expand, and that sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that SCV was just in, like, the perfect place. There's nothing worse than when you're backed into a wall knowing you have to expand, and you expand right where your enemy sees you. You know, this game is making me remember something that I heard recently in StarCraft, which is, you know, when when you have that lead, when you've won all those small skirmishes like Zerg did in this game, you don't need to keep dropping or harassing. You just need to play solid and macro and, you know, build another base, build another two bases, because when you, when you when you go for some sort of harass like that or some sort of drop, you're really taking a chance. I mean, if it doesn't work, you're going to set yourself so far behind, and I think that's what happened here.